Brain disorders are weird, which kind of makes sense as brain themselves are weird. Imagine suffering from a mental illness where you constantly keep feeling warm crawling under your skin or if your hand had a mind of its own. Imagine hearing voices inside your head. Hey, we all hear voices inside our head. Okay, imagine hearing voices inside your head that you are convinced is not your own. I will never say a word. Imagine not being able to differentiate between reality and imagining. Scary, right? But it's still better than water allergy. Yeah, water allergy exists. Well, then you got much to learn. Welcome back to Thought Control. And today we are going to talk about some of the craziest and weirdest mental disorder. Experts say that 1 in 4 people will undergo mental and neurological disorders in their life. Some of these disorders are well known and some not. We are more interested in the not. So without further ado, let's start with our first disorder. Number 1. Cotard Syndrome Also known as Walking Co-op Syndrome which tricks people into believing that they are dead. Sometimes figuratively and sometimes literally. It deceives you into thinking that you or your body parts are dead or don't exist or that they are no longer walking on earth. Spoiler alert, patients with this syndrome often starve to death. It is thought to arise from improper functioning of the part of the brain that recognizes faces, making them not to able to recognize their own face, leading to loss in one sense of self. It is usually found in people with pre-existing conditions like psychosis, clinical depression, etc. Forming a cocktail of extreme misery and maniacy. Hallucination makes one feel as though they are dead or spoiling endlessly. They may even feel like they have never existed. While a few people feel this way about their whole body, others just feel it as to explicit organs or even their soul. I have no soul. Have a nice day. I don't have one either. The figurative part of this disease is basically just nihilism, being convinced that nothing in life has worth, significance or meaning. But why are you looking at me? Huh? Number 2. Synesthesia Meet the family of synesthetes. They have colors, feel sounds and taste shapes. Synesthesia is a perceptual phenomena in which stimulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leads to experience in a second sensory or cognitive pathway. So sounds can trigger visuals, visuals can trigger taste, numbers can trigger colors, letters can trigger smell and it can even occur between more than two perceptual modes. In fact, till date over 60 types of synesthesia have been reported. And at least one recorded synesthete Solomon had all five of his senses linked. So when he heard a musical tone being played, he would immediately see a color, feel a touch, trigger a taste and so on for each of the senses. It gave him huge advantage in memorizing. Depending on varying degrees of intensity, there are two types of synesthesia, projective and associative. For example, if you hear a car honk and with it see a red hexagon in a space, you have projective synesthesia. A person with more associative trait will only think or feel strongly that honk sound red. About 4% of the people in the world have synesthesia of different types. In one of the most common form is grapheme color. Certain numbers and letters produce specific colors. For example, the letter A may be yellow, 2 may be red. Another common variant is chromesthesia which affects one out of every 3000 people. People with chromesthesia see colors when they hear some specific sound or music. Gives a whole new meaning to dark music. In auditory tactile synthesia, sound can lead to sensation in the body. For example, feeling like laying on a bed of knives while listening to Justin Bieber. Those with spatial sequences, synesthesia see numerical sequences as point in the space. But one of the most rare documented form of synesthesia is kinesthetic synesthesia. It is basically a combination of different synesthesias, for example, feeling specific sensation in hands or feet. 
With visualization of shapes or colors when analyzing a mathematical equation, the result and ability to memorize, visualize and create complex models of relationship between numerous variables with a very high degree of accuracy. Examples include predicting the results of computer simulation in subjects such as quantum mechanics or fluid dynamics when the results are not naturally intuitive. Synesthesia does not interfere with normal daily functioning for most of the experiences are either neutral or pleasing. Most but not our next entry to the list. The mirror touch synesthesia. Unlike other forms of synesthesia, living with mirror touch synesthesia can be really exhausting and sometimes even gruesome. If you have mirror touch synesthesia, watching another person being touched will produce a sensation in your brain of yourself being touched at that part of the body. This is because the simple act of watching somebody get touched activates a similar neural circuit to actual touch, producing a tactile sensation. In other words, they experience the sensation they observe. They don't have to walk in someone's shoes to understand how they feel. They just have to look at them. Some scientists correlate this disorder with heightened empathetic ability. Research is currently being done to see if it also results in blurring of the boundaries between the self and others, changing the mental representation of the self in the mind. Those who have mirror touch synesthesia also report feeling emotional that others are feeling without even trying. We all feel naturally happy when observing people having fun. Some say they can't even see people eat as it feels like something is being shot their own throat. If they see someone wearing glasses, they feel like glasses are on their nose. Watching movies is just a whole different task in words of someone suffering from the condition. Most of what I could feel during the movie was my face getting ripped off, a spear through my heart, a giant musket on my back and some blood splattering on my face. This condition may also be related to so-called mirror neurons present in the motor areas of the brain which have also been previously linked to empathy. But some researchers have suggested that you can actually teach yourself synesthesia or even mirror touch synesthesia. But before you try to teach yourself to be synesthetic, you may not really want to feel it when you see someone else get hit on the road. Nonetheless, most mirror touch synesthetes manage their condition through medication and therapy where psychiatrists help patients visualize a shield between themselves and others to create a mental barrier against sensations that are not their own. As telepathy transcends science fiction into reality, who knows how the future of human mind holds? Now let's talk about the last one, Alien Hand Syndrome. First recorded in 1909, alien hand syndrome is a rare neurological condition in which one hand, usually the non-dominant one or sometimes even leg, stops being in control of the person. The hands move as if it has its own mind, carrying out a movement without any cognitive control or awareness. The hand may touch their face, open and close doors, reach for objects and manipulate them, basically perform goal-directed action involuntarily and sometimes compulsively. And it's not exactly cooperative. The hand can sometimes engage in actions and opposition to the rest of the body or the control mind. For example, closing the door you just opened, unbuttoning the shirt you just buttoned. One patient reported that her hand attempted to choke her. Can you imagine someone who thinks something else but does something else? Not at all. Not at all, sir. It occurs in a patient who have head injuries or brain surgeries that involve cutting of the corpse callosum, a brand of fiber that connect the right hemisphere of the brain with the left hemisphere. In fact, the first recorded patient date back to 1940s when surgeons first decided to treat epilepsy by cutting the corpse callosum and splitting the brain. Sometimes the patient lose all sensation so one does not even become aware of what the affected hand is doing until it catches one's attention. Some people just become convinced their hand doesn't belong to them. And for some, the estrangement continues to exist even after the symptoms have been successfully treated. By the way, do you know that if you haven't still click on the subscribe button, you may be suffering from the alien hand syndrome because you know you want it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestion, please let us know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Kinda makes sense. Rolling. Your head that you are not convinced.
toll and today we are going to talk about some of the craziest craziest and craziest 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 craziest